Hello Capricorn. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, Drop the D3 Tarot Review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn. You're kind of showing me that just life just happens. Life just happens. Wow. <laughs> Life happens in a mysterious way, that is for sure. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. <laughs> Although life, life just happens, yes. Um, um the, the whole serenity thing again, huh? The whole serenity thing. Jumping into this, which is showing me, be responsible, Capricorn. You are showing me that there is some sort of party, party energy in this. So be responsible, you drink responsibly. And this is what I'm talking about. Life just happens. Um, if there is some sort of party or drinking situation or scenario, that is definitely putting you on the path towards your, well, it's not a positive one. But what's interesting about this energy, um, even though things are kind of backsliding here because of this party party energy or just, you know, pretending to have a good time or playing yourself or fooling yourself or whatever this is emotionally speaking that you're not wanting to kind of confront or face. Um, there's something, there is something there. And what's fascinating about this is kind of like saying, you know, I know the partying, I know the drinking, I know the substances aren't good for me, but... I met someone. It's like this energy of justification. Um, you're showing me that there is a connection there between you and someone that you're definitely trying to figure out. Do you have emotions and feelings and how much do you care for them? Do you, is it there or is it not there? I feel like you're realizing how much love you have for someone and not other things only because there's this energy of acceptance of like, you know what? Um, it is what it is. I can kind of accept that fact and just focus on moving forward and figuring out what I need to do. Now, I don't know if this is you saying, Capricorn, that things need to be done, as in addictions, drinking, partying, too much socializing, um, faking something or being a facade or masquerading your true emotions and feelings. I don't exactly know, but you're saying, you know what, I realize where I stand emotionally speaking, and that's good enough for me to kind of move forward here and figure out what I need to do to just be done with something and just drop it. I need to drop something. Um, so what you're kind of saying is whether it's the excess partying, whether it's the excess going out for the night, the town, having a good time, living it up, whatever it is, or it's the connection. Like I said, either way, I don't know. Um, what I do like, though, is as soon as something is done with, I kind of feel like this is, you know, it's an energy of something that is actually karmically being cleared out here. Whether it be the drinking, the partying, the socializing, or whether it be the connection, I don't know. Um, you're ultimately kind of showing me that because I am completing something and letting something go and putting something behind me, I have much brighter days up ahead for me, which is nice because you do. 
you're showing me this energy of that's a hell of a lot better than what you were just dealing with or just in. What you're kind of saying is true happiness. You can't fake true happiness and you don't need a substance in order to create it, have it, or fill it. You can't fake that. You can't fake that. And there, yeah, okay, so there's the two of you are. Yeah, the two of you show up next to each other on the exact same page. Ooh, oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, Capricorn. Oh my goodness gracious. What, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, goodness. That is being stretched out. That is being stretched out. And that's what I was talking about. Um, the dynamic and the context here, Capricorn. If you if you met this person at a party and there is possibly substance use, um, yeah, it could work out. There is that chance or is that exception. Um, but, you know, everyone is, you know, every relationship or connection is unique and different. But... You're showing me that even though being done with something is clearing up so much for you, you're showing me that you have been through the energetic ringer so much so that you're confused as to whether or not the two of you actually can be on the same page and make things work. Even though there's this energy of, I don't know if this is coworker energy, maybe this is at work, um, or maybe this is just a matter of finances and money and a sense of security within some sort of living situation or agreement. I don't know. Um, but you're saying that's the difficult part. That's the difficult part, but it actually is, well, it seems like things are working and you are doing what you can to make things work as well as they are. So that both of you are on the same page as saying, you know what, we are willing to do what we got to do to make ends meet, if you will, financially speaking. But this is where it almost energetically feels like Capricorn. There's a little bit of an energetic breakaway. And this is what's fascinating. I feel like for you, you're choosing to kind of break away from this and do your own independent thing. You're, you're wanting to kind of step something up a notch and take something to the next level. And even though it seems and it feels like you're kind of going out on your own, um, there's an energy of, yeah, you have a whole lot more responsibility to take care of and manage and upkeep and do. And very, it's, it's almost like this energy of like, you got to do what you got to do. And even though it's very upsetting and there has been some sort of energetic cord there that you had to kind of snip and walk away from, once again, you show me this energy of so much more happiness and so much more fulfillment. But then you kind of find yourself wondering and kind of questioning like, but did they ever emotionally care? Or was it something like, well, where are they at emotionally speaking? And that's what's fascinating because they do show up in a caring energy. They do. At the same time, I have to be honest here. Um, emotionally speaking, they're not too sure what they want to do. And that's what I was kind of saying too. They, it, it just depends on the circumstances. They don't, they don't know what they want emotionally speaking. They're willing to make things work with you, even though it's a complication for financial and security reasons. But emotionally speaking, they're drifting off somewhere else. Um, I don't know what they're up to, but I, I do see that you're trying to figure out what you got to do for you as well, Capricorn, and you're not too happy about it. You're not too happy about it. It feels like you're left picking up the pieces and trying to put it all together, and it's just like, great. Now what? Even though it kind of feels like it was you, I was going to say, even though it kind of feels like it was your decision, it might be the substance. I, I kind of feel like you're choosing to drop the substance, the, the party. Um... 
Yeah. But you still want to make it work with them. You still want to make it work with them. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a unique, unique situation. Um, there's still chance. There's still hope. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign, an earth sign. And that is all. Goodbye.